same concept what you did from the juice you do exactly on the ad nothing changed first part stop stop when you don't have control of the bounce of the ball you gotta slow down When you bounce the ball, what are you thinking? A very far take back and a toss. What about the toss? More consistent. Consistent and high, right? Yes. Keep tossing the ball higher. Let me see. Stop. Do it again. Nice. Where are you standing? Bravo, Alex. Very good length of the back arm. Very nice, Alex. As a spectator from the sidelines this motion feels a lot more fluid for you more relaxed you can length more okay keep your left arm even higher very nice stay there be patient Try. See if you can be in balance after hitting the ball. Don't move your feet. Very nice. The ball is touching the right. Good. The left arm drops. No. more lower to this part nice Alex nice a little bit higher if you bring the butt cap high like shoulder height will be easier for you to do this, okay? Okay. Very nice. The sound was better. Good try. Very nice. No, no, no. Keep the length. Length your racket back. You understand you're doing it maybe two out of five. But constant, constant thinking what you're doing, okay? More back. Length racket back. Length, 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 back. More back. Back, back, back. Very good. Again. Length, length. No, too close. Length it back. Closer to the line. Closer. Very nice, Alex. Closer to the line. Keep it going. No. The tip of the racket goes over the toes. Remind yourself, okay? Bring it back. 
more back and higher. Nice. Nice. Bravo, Alex. That was great. I'm going to ask you now for the next four serves to do the same motion and to jump. See if you can do that. Good try. Keep the ball and the racket together. Jump a little bit higher. Very good. Length up the bad cup. Do you jump? Okay. In order to jump, you have to go faster your arm. You cannot go slow, you have to go faster. Stop. Very nice. Go again. Stop. Jump, Alex. Yes. Do it like you mean it, with purpose. Nice try. Length it back. Very nice. That's too low, go again. Toss the ball higher to get more length, okay? If it's too low, you're forcing it. Length it up as long as possible. Ball together. That was good. What do you learn now? Do you add something new or the same? Jump. The jumping part, okay. What else? You have to hit a different direction. Okay, but the motion is the same. Yes. The steps are the same. Yes. All I adjust it is, or I ask you to do is the last four serves to jump to see if you can do it. But to do that, you have to bend more your knees, yes. which didn't happen, okay? Without the ball, you might be able to do it. With the ball, it might be a little bit challenging for you right now, which is nothing wrong. It's absolutely fine. But you have to be very, very aware of anything you do from step one to step two to step three in order for you to have consistent serves without thinking. Every serve you do in practice is very important. As important to play in real match. Any questions? If I'm going like this, that means I also have to change my position. Kind of, because I used to stand like this. Correct. Now I have to stand like this because I have to go a little, over yes, both my a little, toes. A little. That's a very good and valid question from you. You have to adjust your feet position slightly. You have to adjust your upper body, your shoulders, the positioning. I don't think it's a big change. You can do it, but you have to be so self-aware of your body. It's very simple and very important. I don't say tomorrow like, oh, I cannot serve. Oh, my toes is everywhere. Oh, how is my racket going back? You know how the racket is going back. You know where you should touch the ball. I don't expect you to jump every time, but I expect you to take your time when you serve in between serves. This is something you can control. Do you understand? Yes. So if I see you next time, what kind of serve are you going to do? Bounce the ball. Just my position. I'm looking for a specific wording. Differently. Okay, how? With my position. What I'm looking for is the racket to be over the toes. Yes. That's what I'm looking for. If you do this, it solves a lot of issues we have. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. This is very limited. This is a lot more relaxed and fluid. Okay? Do you understand? Yes. Good job. So repeat. What did you adjust or change? I changed my position where I stand yes I and I adjust my take back how by 
instead of going here, I'm going more fluid motion of my toes. The tip of the racket, this part of your racket, to go over your toes. Okay? Okay. Excellent. Very good. Okay, quick water. Very nice. So as you notice on the other side, we did exactly the same thing, but we have to incorporate something more for him to use his brain and his full body. But more importantly, at the end, I have to re-ask the question of what he did and repeat himself so I know he understands. And I have to repeat that two or three times. So almost I brainwash him. Almost I have to keep applying the information over and over and himself to hear himself. So when he's practicing by himself, he knows what he's looking for in specific terms, specific words. And anytime I see him on the practice court, I can go very quickly this is the motion we're looking for, this is the toss or type of toss we're looking for, this is the fit position we're looking for. So this coding helps to have less unnecessary conversation back and forth because he's buying into it. He understands what we're looking for. This is very important for the players in the tournaments, good or bad, they have like, you know, eye contact with the coaches and the player, the player with the coach or player with the parent. They have to understand. They cannot have long conversations from the outside, but they can have like, you know, one, two looks and signs and they say, okay, I got it. I understand what you're looking for. I did some certain mistakes back and forth, like, you know, three, four times. Everybody looks for answers, but we try to minimize the over-talking conversation from when they play. They have to find solutions within themselves, but we try to give them clues and pointers that is simple and applicable to them. This is the information from this young age. It becomes even more simple to the highest level. The more complicated things, the more easier to break down. Simplicity is very, very important. Hope you like the video and like the video. Get it?